This is the worst storm we've ever known on planet Eris. It's reaching hurricane proportions. People's homes are being blown apart. Our scientists think it may be a solar storm. And then again, it may be the work of the evil King Zarkon. I called you both in here to view the monitor and see what's going on all over the planet. The scenes of destruction are simply incredible. We've just got to save the buildings. No! It's the people we must save. You're right. Let's round everyone up and bring them into the castle where they'll be safe. And keep an eye out for looters. With everyone in such a panic, thieves are sure to turn up. So you've created a terrible storm on planet Eris, my son. That news doesn't really excite me. You will become excited, Father, when you see everything I can accomplish with that storm. What will it do? Destroy everything? I don't want the wild game and the harvest or even the people destroyed. I want them all. You'll have them all. The first thing is to panic the people. Ah, yes. People are much easier to conquer when they lose their wits. And the next step is to plant my powerful mega bomb. Which my magic has devised to destroy the Voltron Force! Don't panic! There are shelters beneath the castle! Follow me! Hurry! Why bother? It's the end of the world! It is the end of the world! For them. We saw them! So who? An earthquake! Pidge! Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. Mother? Mom? 
Are you all right? Tommy, you told me you had someone to take care of. But I... I didn't... No, it was your mom. It was during the storm. We were trying to protect our fields when we heard something drilling underground. Then the earth opened up. I was caught in a fissure. Now I can't even take care of my own son. It's true. My mother was badly hurt. Our fields were ruined. Everything's destroyed. See? This was no accident. Oh, whoever or whatever did this, I swear they'll be sorry. I don't care who they are. <laughs> What do our spies report? They say Aris will be hard to conquer. Hard? This is going to be easy. Lotor, your father calls you. My son, how did your little trick with the space storm work out? Very well, father. The mega bomb is all set for detonation. And the best part is, they don't even know it's here. And when it goes off, it will destroy the entire castle. And all of planet Aris. They won't even know what hit them. Lotor, you're not thinking of trying to save the princess, are you? Of course not. That could endanger the plan. Good thinking, Lotor. She's not worth the risk. Not to you, maybe, old man. But I'm not going to pass up a chance at that beauty. These plans will lead me right to her chamber. Hmm. Start the drilling. I can hear something. It's down there, tunneling, digging. What do you think it is? I know this much. It's sure not a groundhog. This spiro charger can bore through rock ten times harder than diamonds, and I'm going to use it to drill a hole right through the middle of this planet. And right into Princess Allura's chamber. When I get her away from here, then the fireworks will begin. First, I'll destroy the black robot lion. Then I'll incinerate the red lion. Then the yellow lion. Then the green one. Finally, the castle will be destroyed. And the entire planet will be nothing but ashes. Of course, Allura and I will be safe on planet Doom. She will admire me for my great power. With the princess at my side, the people will see that I am supreme. Of course, if she doesn't like being my bride, too bad for her. <laughs> The bomb, my great mega bomb, which I designed myself for total annihilation. It's so huge, and yet by pushing one little button. What are you waiting for, moron? Hmm, idiots. I'm surrounded by idiots and haunted by a beautiful face. Hedge is still gone. Poor little guy. We've got to find him. Yes, but how? I'll tell you how. There's only one way to cover this planet really fast. Yeah! The Robot Lions! Right! Insert keys. This place.
place is creepy. You're right, so watch out for creeps. Speaking of creeps, look what's coming! Humans are so stupid! That's because their brains are analog instead of digital. Robots calling us stupid! We'll see about that! Time for the attack! Any robot who fails me will be melted down for scrap iron! We must achieve total victory! Ready? Yeah. Then move them out, now! They're heading toward the castle. We gotta go after him. Come on! Tommy, you don't have to help me. I'm too heavy. Hey, what are friends for? Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. Let's face it, I'm done for. You gotta leave me behind. No, Pidge. Pals gotta stick together. No matter what. Thanks, pal. Isn't that disgusting? <gasps> I think we've caught ourselves a couple of little cave mice. You creep. Talking cave mice. <laughs> Better squash them. Don't hurt him. It's not his fault. I'm the one who brought him here. I'm not afraid of this pointy-eared thug. Ah, oh. Ah, he didn't do anything. At least give him a fighting chance. I never give chances. Because you're scared. <laughs> of mice? Okay. What are you going to do? I'm going to be sporting, and I'll count to ten. It's not enough. But you've got to go for it. I'm starting my count. <sighs> now. One, two. That's enough counting. Let's have some fun now. Ah, you <laughs> cheater! Tommy, look out! We tracked down Pidge's transmission to this house. Was he here? Yes, he and my son went underground. Underground? They could get caught in a cave or a landslide or a... <gasps> Are you saying Tommy's hurt? How I... No, a hunk just gets carried away sometimes. Tommy's only a little boy. <laughs> oh, that was real bright, hunk. You worried that poor woman half to death. Who, me? What'd I say? All right, you guys, let's not fight about it, okay? Look it. Footprints. Come on, let's climb down there. I think there's a much faster way to get there, don't you? Okay, let her rip. Insane, huh? Maybe you're right, because it gives me insane pleasure to know that when this thing blows up, you'll be the first to go. <laughs> I'll give your regards to the princess. We've got to work quick now, before that bomb blows this planet apart. What are you doing here, you idiots? You're completely off target. Change plans. Drill to the 
surface and prepare for a full-scale frontal attack. Uh, something just showed up on my scanner. It looks like a bomb, but if it is, it must be the biggest bomb that's ever been made. After these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. Look, a team of robot commandos. Stop them. Charger into... An invincible row beast! Look what Lotor sent over! Ready to form Voltron! Activate interlock! Dynatherms connected! Infracells up! Mega thrusters are go! Let's, Let's, Let's go! go! Voltron force! And I'll form the head! Better duck these, team! Fire proton missiles! Them off? Not yet. Guess some rubies just don't know when they're beat. I don't like the looks of those drills. Try spinning laser blades. This time he's finished for sure. Oh no! Let's go! Form Blazing Sword.
They think they've won, but they don't know. Hmm. I've set the mega bomb for automatic detonation, and nothing can stop it from exploding. Not even Voltron. <laughs> Aren't you worried about the Mega Bomb? Not with Voltron. As long as there are still insane people who build these terrible weapons of doom, we must continue to do everything in our power to stop them. Thank goodness we have Voltron to help us. There! We couldn't stop Lotor's automatic detonator, but at least we could take it out here where the blast won't do any harm. In time, it'll form a new sun. Perhaps someday, instead of destroying life, its shining rays will help to support it. <laughs> <laughs>